Did you kill it? I did. Eat it. Oh look, it's baby Ranveer. What? He's so cute. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction videos. This is Corbin. This is Rick. Follow us on Instagram. Twitter. 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 Content. Thank you for listening on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Camera. Email. Follow us on the Facebook squad. Bang. Thank you for listening on Patreon. Oh shit! I just said that. Uh, Don't do drugs also because you'll repeat you yourself no. and you'll see baby ran beer in your hands. Do drugs. Anyways, today is Ran Beer's birthday. Mm. Happy birthday, baby happy. Ran Beer. Wow. You I, sexy, sexy beast. I thought you were just going to say happy birthday, baby. And then the Pika was going to have some words with you, man. Uh, no. Anyways, uh, we react to a video of his. This is uh, how Ran Beer Singh prepares. For it, what? Just prepares. Oh. Uh, from Band Baja Barat to Gully Boy. That Band Baja Barat was his first film. Mm -hmm. Gully Boy's last. Um, on his birthday, here's compilation of how Ranbir Singh prepared for his roles. From Band Baja Barat, Padmavat, Lutera, Simba, Bifekri, and Gully Boy. The actor shares his process on the roles which he considers his toughest ever. I do hope that's cool. This is what that said, and it's not just like a promo. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, it'd be cool if it's like, if it goes from how he prepared in his first one. Right. And then it shows how he grew as an actor. Yes, basically. yes, 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 yes. And obviously, because you do, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, you learn stuff, and then what you thought was the right way to do it is no, either what, not the right way or no longer the right way for you to exactly. do it. Exactly. And there's a big, huge learning curve, especially if you haven't, you know, obviously, we may find out, but just... There's so many things you don't even know about when you could show up on set. That's why I encourage people to be background actors yeah. because you learn things just like what a call sheet is and what base camp is. Because mm -hmm. there's so many things that can be really, really intimidating that if you don't know, everyone will know you don't know. So this is, let's right. see. Here we go. Tell me, you've talked to me often about your process of getting into character and how you go into sort of this rabbit hole and prep and uh, to the point where Jumpsy. sometimes it's sort of, uh, uh, you know, it's impacted on you physically. Uh, I, I remember this interview we did where you actually apologized uh, on camera to Anushka because you said it was such a pain during um, band bash. Anushka Sharma, if you're watching this, I am so sorry for being such a pain in the behind. I just didn't know any better. <laughs> I love this suit, by the way. I'm just painful. Like, before the take, I'm just like getting in the zone, doing my own thing. I'm either skipping or just like doing less wrapping off my lines so that they sit on my tongue better. And I'm just like, I'm just, I was really painful to work with. Even, even Manish, um, I would love to work with him again to show him that I've evolved and I'm a much easier actor to work with. <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, you pull, as a co-actor or a director, like, you have like a guy like that, you pull your hair out, exactly. you know, who's just so um, uh, difficult to work with, you know, just, uh, it's, it's not, you know, you want to tell a guy it's not that complicated, just Act. do it, yeah. <laughs> don't, just do it and don't, don't do Stop all these thinking. things to do it, yeah. just do it, just be uh, yeah, and, and, uh, I mean, uh, my sincere thanks to Anushka and Manish for bearing with me. I am much better now. I, I understand I now. I love his hat and his A little suit. bit. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, Lutera was pretty hard. I remember oh, when I got the day I got shot sexy. in Lutera. It was the first time. And I was very raw at that time in my craft. And uh, I, I really submitted um, to what was going on. And as a result, that night, I couldn't sleep. I'd... Uh, I was dog tired, so I, my body would pass out, but then every 20 minutes I'd have a different nightmare about dying in a different way and I'd wake up every 20 minutes feeling like somebody shot me. Um, so it was a hard experience. It just, I feel completely shattered. I went through a lot when my shoulder got busted. Um, it really, I mean, I, I came crashing down. Um, because it happened at a stage, uh, you know, we, I, I, I knew that we were going in for the action schedule and I thought to myself, man, if I'm going to, if I'm going to have to portray a killing machine, 
I had better be a killing machine. So I had conditioned my physicality to that point. I was at the peak of my fitness, you know, the strongest, fastest, most agile that I've ever been. And we finished the entire action shift. And it was the last day, the last shot. We were losing light. After this, we would have moved on and done some pretty wide shots where I would just have to wave and not do much. It was just that one shot, you know. Um, I got so unlucky because I could have come out of this action schedule completely unscathed. And the kinds of stuff I've done, all striving, oh, no. I think I've actually been in battle, you could say. And that it just, just that last day. shot, you know, uh, there were explosions and elephants and fighters and horses and, uh, and uh, you know, the stunt went wrong and I fell off the horse. I got flung off the horse. Oh. And I immediately I snapped my shoulder Ooh. and I was like, man, there are like eight months to go for shooting and now I'm out of action. I, I didn't even think it was much. I went to the hospital and I did all my tests. I walked into the room and, uh, and that guy is like, I have some bad news for you. And I knew what it was and I just came crashing down. Oh, no, it's very difficult to do this kind of acting, huh? Yeah. She seems to have, I don't know, I was very surprised when I first started uh, performing scenes with her, even in workshops. Uh, because uh, this, this what I, for lack of a better expression or articulation, call it new school uh, acting, which is like not acting, acting. You know, it's not theatrical. Right. It's very, very casual, candid, conversational, spoken, trying, when there is a, when there's banter, it should feel like a real, Conversation like two people just hanging out, new acting, acting, you know? yeah. uh, which new is something acting, I had to learn, Bollywood, develop, it would, it would, yeah. adapt, and learn from you know influences around me. Why? Because uh, you're naturally dramatic. I mean, yeah, <laughs> histrionics. Uh, you know, the Come theatrical easy. is what comes very naturally to me because uh, I've been in theatre ever since I was in school. So uh, uh, and also the kind of stuff I did growing up is always it's like Shakespeare and stuff. You know, so it's like very metered, very structured, very heavy dialogue. Yeah, Shakespeare. That's why this film was uh, quite a challenge. You know, for me because everything I'm about how he's admiring himself. Flow, <laughs> weird, like, what I have to just be effortless and oh, that's every true. conversation to feel like a real conversation, like. Um, you shouldn't feel like two people are acting, and that's very challenging. How yes, many times you work out is eat a lot of red meat <laughs> and lift really heavy weights. It's that's, just, that's the kill you It's now. very simple. <laughs> uh, I actually crashed, uh, and I'm very excited to share this. I ate red meat for a year and a half straight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every day. Yeah. I was like, if if you are to uh, subscribe to the notion that you are what you eat then I'm going to eat red meat <laughs> throughout. <laughs> so yeah, I had been on a diet of just meat. Like that Good. eating scene that you Great. see, that was what I was eating for a year and a half. <laughs> just meat. Ow, ow. It's, and, uh, yeah, it was, it's a lot of fun. I like being, personally, I like being a big brute with big muscles being like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I like that kind of, uh, this sort of gully boy physicality, oh, this sort of like eating thing is not my... <laughs> My thang, uh, but but yeah, it was it was um, a lot of red meat and a lot of heavy lifting. In Roy Chetty films, you don't just walk. When he's watching the take uh, back, he already knows the background music is already playing in his head. So you you gotta take his uh, little uh, cues when he huh. gives them to you, because then you're gonna just see the most immaculate walking shot. You know, Karan Jawal keeps joking about it because he comes and sees the rushes, right. his part producer. He's like, how much have you walked in this film? How many, how many steps have you achieved? Because he's just walking in slow motion. That's right, that's he's right. walking in slow motion all the time. Um, but, uh, he's just like, don't, don't close your face, leave them a little loose, you know. Huh. Uh, just cross your steps like this, keep your eye line. Um, you know, slightly above or depending on where the camera is placed. So he uh, he does. He's one guy who definitely so there is Michael a science. manages the swagger. Huh. Of course, there's an inherent swagger there. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Which is why you got cast, uh, right? He works with it. He works with it and makes it just immaculate. Simba in Gully Boy. In Simba, there's a lot you have to do. There's a lot to do, do, do. And Gully Boy, you just have to be. Right. In Simba, I'm driving everything. You know, I'm the center of everything. I'm saying a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm speaking a lot. A lot of dialogue, a lot of actions. I'm, I'm driving the scene. In Gully Boy, there's a lot happening around me. And I'm just reacting. I'm very quiet, very reserved. Two very different modes of performance. And how blessed I am that I have 
Zoya Akhtar on one hand yeah. and Rohit Shetty on the other. Yeah. You know, yeah. gold standard, uh, you know, in For their both. respective, uh, yeah. you know, genres and yeah. styles, but they're poles apart. Yeah. Um, so in terms of in terms of just output, mm -hmm. you know, I don't feel as exhausted right. on a day of Gully Boy shoot as I would on uh, at the end of the day yeah. uh, on a Rohit Shetty film. There's just in terms of sheer uh, energy wattage yeah. output, yeah. there's just a lot more you gotta pump in there, mm. um, and and yeah. So so in that sense, it's tougher. Mm. But personally, like. I'm a doer, you know, so to just be, <laughs> it's hard. I need to wrap my head around it. It, it. it takes a Zoya to kind of rein me in. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. I, I enjoyed that. And you could tell, like, I, I don't know how far these were, because obviously you didn't get to see him talk during... When while it, he was making it, while he right, was right, right. So you could, you didn't know his process. You just heard that he was like, "Yeah, I was a, I was a complete joke. I was, I was hard to work with." Right. <laughs> I was. Just, yeah, it was and more that, what his experiences were like. Yeah. Um, obviously, he wasn't a star, so uh, Film Companion probably didn't interview him then. Yeah. Um, but you could tell, obviously, his his growth, and he's so interesting because I feel like he wants to do those type of films that where he he talks about a lot, where you just be. Yeah. But he also knows his personality is not that. Yes. And marketability as well. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, his marketability is Simba. Yeah. It's big, big, over the top, colorful. But I feel like that's what he wants to do. He wants to be a thespian. Yeah. He wants to be those type of characters. But you, you can tell, like, because he is such a massive personality, it's actually more of a challenge for him mm -hmm. to not do the over the top. Shahid is also similar that way. Because mm -hmm. no. Shahid's got an extremely uh, electric personality mm -hmm. and he can do those musical numbers. He doesn't have the same physical presence that Runbeard can yeah. have in a, in, a, in a scene. But there's that energy level. But also Shahid, I mean, that's he's an actor, man. Yeah. He's an actor. So I, I think he obviously is at a place where he can make the choices in his career. Yeah, I think he is. Where he can, he, and I think he would be bored. I think if he just played gully boy roles, yeah. he'd go out of his mind. Yeah. He'd be like, somebody give me something to jump off of. I've got to do something massive right now. I think if he's not challenged and constantly stimulated as an actor, yeah, uh, he'll 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 he's be crazy. He's definitely one of the which is one of the things I love is that he wants to do different stuff. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because he doesn't want to get bored. Yep. Yeah, because obviously he's one of those people since he's going so much, he'll get bored very easily. Easily. I feel like he has ADHD. Uh, sure. And in that type of style of mind where it's just I have to I have to be doing something and I, I can't do that because I just did that. Yeah. Why why would I do that again? My favorite trait about him in all of this is that he's clearly teachable. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the most that's one of the most important attributes for a human being is mm -hmm. to be teachable because you can't be teachable unless there's a level of humility. And it's, it's, it's got to be really wonderful to work with him because even, in, for example, he realized that, that realization when he's apologizing and saying, I am so sorry that I worked the way that I did. Mm -hmm. That's a, a very humbling, teachable moment that yeah. he's very sincere about. So it's great. He's great. I, and I, I'm really sad because 83 would have been out already. I know. <laughs> so much would have been out already. Uh, we would have already seen it. I'm really excited about that film because it looks like, I think it's another Gully Boy style of film. It's very grounded. Grounded. And he looks totally different, yeah. obviously. Um, but obviously we don't have it yet. And I, I don't think we will until the theaters open again. I know. I don't, think that's gonna, I don't think that's going to go to OTT. This is, I was realizing, this is... Possibly, I have to do the math. Longest you ever been? We're getting really close to the longest I've ever been. Child? That's the era I have to look at because when Ashley and Alexis and Micah were really little, I probably went. I probably went longer at those points. Yeah, because it's it's hard to get to a theater when your little ones are little. It's hard to stay in a theater for two to it's, three hours. It's hard to watch something at home when your little ones little. It's really difficult now. It's much yep. more. Difficult than it used to be for me. The process that I watch films now, it's a 10 to 30 minute increments. Right. <laughs> it's basically. Yep. And then Leland gets tired and he wants to go to a different room. So yeah. <laughs> we've gone from there and, and then I'll turn it on in here. And I bet often when he yeah. sleeps, you're like, yeah, my turn. No. I, no? no? I've never napped. You no, know, you don't sleep when you don't nap. I can't nap. Now, come on. You've done the 
he's napping mm -hmm. on the chest, mm -hmm. and you go out with him. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, really? I can't nap. I've never been able. Oh, you've never napped. Mm -hmm. Ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've never been able to nap. Oh, I love naps. Uh, he's Especially falling. with your baby. He's falling asleep. <gasps> oh, oh, no, but like, to sit in the chair and have your kid here. One, one that just... scares me because what if I fall over as well? Anyway, yeah, that's yeah. not what this is about. Anyway, uh, happy birthday to you, Renvir. I can't wait to see what you do next. Yep.